Okay, question 12 for the manusmaths.com uh, MP1 paper, paper N. Uh, we're told that a fish logo is generated by the curve C with equation Y equals a half X times by X minus 5 all squared. And it's reflection in the X axis. And the curve C makes the X axis at the origin at the point five zero. Uh, the finite region R is bounded by C and it's reflection by the X axis in the straight line with equation X equals 6. Show the area of R shown shaded in the figure is 54 square units. Right, so key point to this. If you were to expand this, you would get a half x cubed. Oh, wrong color. You would get a half x cubed plus a bunch of other terms. And x cubed graphs tend to look like a rising snake like that. So what's actually happening is your half x cubed function is the thing that's going to be looking like this. So if you were to integrate this function between 0 and 6, you would actually get this area up here, bounded by the curve, the x-axis, and the line x equals 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to integrate between 0 and 6, 1 half of x times by x minus 5 squared, and then we're just going to double it, because it's by ref by symmetry, all the area on the bottom is the same as all the area on the top. Uh, at this point, you can type this into your newfangled calculators, but I'm just going to do it pretending that, you know what, I don't have one of those calculators, and I'm just going to do it. So, if I... Exp okay, the half and the two, I can cancel those out, which is kind of nice. Um... Next up, if I expand x minus 5 squared, I'm going to get x squared minus 10x plus 25. But then when I times it by x, this becomes cubed, that becomes squared, that becomes x. So I'm integrating these things between 0 and 6. And then the normal power rule for integrating polynomials is I add 1 to the power, x to the 4, divide by the new power. So the next term, 10x, I add 1 to the power of 3, divide by that new power. And then add 1 to the power, so x squared, divided by that new power, plus a constant integration. But since this is a definite integral, we don't have to bother with that. So it's between 6 and 0. Now, I'm going to substitute when x equals 6, the upper limit into here, minus when x equals 0 into the bottom limit. And clearly when x is 0, I've got 0 cubed, uh, 0 to the 4 over 4, which is 0, minus 10 lots of 0 over 3, which is 0, plus 25, 0 squared over 2. So this is another 0. So this bracket is irrelevant. Right. <clears throat> 6 to the 4 over 4. Well, that's 36 squared, all divided by 4, which is uh, 324, minus 6 cubed times by 10, and then divided by 3, which is 720, and then plus 6 squared, which is 36, times by 25, and then divided by 2, which is 450. So 324 plus 450 minus 720 will give the answer of 54 units squared, which is exactly what we wanted to see. 54 units squared, 54 square units. And there you go. Just to clarify, I got the answer straight away because I doubled it here, so it's two lots of the area under the graph, and then I cancelled out the half with the two because I can take linear factors, i.e. constant terms, out, and the two times a half will make a one, just to clarify. Okay, cool.